The controversy, of course, follows the San Bernardino attack in which Tashfeen Malik, a Pakistani on a visa, and her American husband, Saeed Farooq, murdered 14 people. There was a custody hearing for the couple's six-month-old daughter. Farooq's sister wants to adopt her from state custody. And we've learned that Farooq took out a $28,000 loan before the massacre. Carter Evans has found the gun violence last Wednesday is sending many in San Bernardino to the gun store. At a gun shop less than two miles from the scene of last week's massacre, more than two dozen people were lined up outside when it opened this morning. It's a similar story at the gun range where Syed Rizwan Farouk did some target practice two days before he killed 14 co-workers. Business there is up 60% since the attack. You didn't want to have a gun in the house before. Why has that changed now? The reason it's changed now is because it's in our neighborhood. Desiree Pelluso is a single mother of three. And I've had, you know, multiple conversations with women that have never even shot guns that are looking into buying guns to be able to protect themselves. Nerves are frayed throughout this community. On Sunday night, there was panic when reports of gunfire at a nearby shopping mall led to more than 300 law enforcement officers circling the property. It turned out to be a robbery where people mistook the sound of smashing glass for gunshots. San Bernardino Police Chief Jared Berguan. People are on edge and people are a little extra cautious, which is good. That's what we're asking people to do. For Paluso, being extra cautious now means owning a gun. 911, um, it's not that quick of a response. And in, in 2.5 seconds, they're not going to be there. Gun and ammunition manufacturing is a $13.5 billion a year business here in the U.S. And Scott, according to FBI data, the number of requests for applications for background checks to buy guns spikes after high profile mass shootings like this one. Carter Evans at the scene of the crime last week. Carter, thank you.